An unusual new budgeting trend is emerging in China's largest cities. Two strangers, unable to afford to rent individually, split the cost of a room and share one bed. The arrangement, dubbed bedmates on mainland social media, has been adopted by young workers and recent graduates who face high unemployment and financial insecurity in China's struggling economy. The popularity of the new phenomenon can be seen in the numerous posts seeking bedmates on the social media platform Xiaohongshu with hashtags like it sharing the same bed in a shared room. Reported news site Youth36KR Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge, our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. In a report from June on new graduates in the rental market by 58.com and Anjik, two of China's real estate listing sites. More than 80% of young people said they wanted to keep their rent below 30% of their salary. For a recent graduate with an average monthly salary of around 10, 000 yuan 1400 US dollars, this means they are spending 3000 yuan on rent, nowhere near the average cost of a comfortable unit that is convenient to commute to work. The situation has not been helped by the country's high youth unemployment rate, which hit a record 21.3% in June, reported the National Bureau of Statistics in its most recent figures. This is why so many people are turning to bed sharing, like strangers Xiaoxia and Menghan who only came together out of financial necessity. In October 2022, Xiaoxia relocated to Beijing after being laid off from her job in Shanghai and spent three months without employment. She secured a position at an internet company close to the Zisanki area, known for its high rents, after an influx of highly paid professionals working for tech firms. However, after three years of the pandemic involving layoffs without compensation and labor arbitration, Xiaoxia recognized the importance of saving money and aimed to keep her rental budget at around 2. 000 yuan 280 US dollars per month. A search on Beijing's popular rental app, Lianjia, by a reporter from the Post revealed that many flats with single or partitioned rooms lacked lifts in Zisanki. And even those under 10 square meters 108 square feet exceeded her budget. I can afford a rental budget of 3,000 yuan. But why should I give that money to the owner? Why should I help the landlord pay off their mortgage? Xiaoxia told Youth36KR. Although I'm quite thrifty, I am the kind of person who can easily spend 400 to 500 yuan on a meal because at least I get to enjoy the food. But spending so much on rent is like purely paying for Beijing's property owners. Then she found Menghan on Xiaohongshu, an accounting professional with an even lower rental budget of 1,500 yuan a month, also looking for a room in the same area. The two quickly decided to become bedmates. Renting a 215 square feet bedroom in a 1, 485 square feet three bedroom flat, with each paying 1,500 yuan a month. They made an informal agreement about rules, no snoring, sleepwalking, or inviting male guests into their shared space. We are completely entrusting our personal safety during the night to a stranger, said Xiaoxia. The pair said they are not sensitive to noise and usually fall asleep as soon as their heads hit the pillow. So the experience of bed sharing had not disrupted their sleep. Instead, it has fostered a unique style of friendship they have long missed as Beijing drifters, as the two would confide in each other about life, work, and love during the evening. Perhaps, we are not just two individuals sharing the same bed to save money. We are friends who have known each other for a long time, Xiaoxia said. However, the joy amid hardship, sisterhood story was not one many online commenters shared, with many adding their own negative experiences as bedmates in the comments section. One person said, this was the inevitable and only pathway to live in a tier, one city after graduation. Another person said, all I felt was agony. Those who were kidnapped by exorbitant property prices even lost the option to roll over in their own bed. It's painful, too painful, 